before returning back home to Manchester area we're just having a stop off at New Brighton we're going to go for a walk and my understanding is there's going to be a lot of redevelopment taking place here um, rather soon so maybe the last time we'll see some of the attractions and remnants from the old fairground days we'll have a breakfast brunch breakfast coffee and go for a little walk and I might tell you a little story about when I was little at New Brighton Beach. You know that story, don't you? Mm, probably. So I'm just going to go into um, a weather spoons now. I'm not too sure what it's called. Okay. But back in the day, back in the... Um, a few years ago, let's say, there used to be a couple of nightclubs here. Old Coasters and RJs. And, um, yeah, we had some interesting nights. As you pulled up where I'm going to walk to now in a stretch of limousine once here just there and uh, see there uh, so oh this one's all shut down isn't it yeah anyway that's for a that's all for another story another story another vlog one day onto the map be interesting Right, we're going to have a walk down the front, some of the old shops that are still here. Oh, entrance only. That was quite a nice traditional cafe, don't it? Yeah. Okay, it's still going, Sandra. All changing, isn't it? The best chip is down here, it's not here. We've had a fish in New Brighton. A wonderful fish. Fort. Onto the river side. Well, there wasn't so much of a fun fair sort of person, yeah. it was... Couldn't be by wildlife and mountains or something. Well, there's all, all the wildlife in, over there. So, this chip shop here is an amazing fish. Probably the best fish in your life. And it's all... What do you call it? Like, oh, it is run down, isn't it? Pigeons. So the Art Deco building had its own, I think it was there on top of that, its own big tower and everything. And apparently this is all going to be redeveloped. I want my old trousers back when I get in. Uh, yeah, well, a little bit of a shame. Let's uh, let's all that. Uh, new, what new? So, um, yeah. So this is sort of old New Brighton. What's left of it? Uh, I think it was here the tower. Um, meets the new development. Well, back in the well, 90s, I mean, it did get really run down to be honest, and they have done quite a lot of work here. So, the pavement's nice and black house, wheelchair accessible. And see some music. I'm sure, what do you want in concert? Oh, they're drunk at night, Sandra. So, here is um, Royal Pavilion was where they were doing the Covid testing, they were one of the first in the country, wasn't it, on Merseyside, if you remember? Back in... That, um, 
They ran the uh, ran the pilot scheme, didn't they? So we'll have a walk down here, and then we'll cross over the road. Go and walk down the beach to side to side, then Sandra. Unless you go for a paddle. Sandra, me toes yesterday. Uh, just over the water here, you've got the docks and ports at Liverpool. And over in the distance, you've got the Catholic Cathedral. Is it the Catholic Cathedral, Sandra? There is a bit of centre walk, just got a bit of centre walk on Sandra. So we'll walk down to where the boy thing is and step, step on the beach. A little bit breezy this morning, isn't it? So just reflecting on a bit of history of New Brighton from when I was a young lad, because it was a big thing to come to New Brighton from Manchester. I mean, it was a massive thing to come. Uh, yeah, Bayfield in 1972, demolished in 1978. So some informative posters all along the side. Uh, what I did notice was over in the docks, over in Liverpool, where you can see here the GoPro that I've got on the to pick up. But look at the size of that cruise ship there, Sandra. See it? Yeah. yeah. So it's definitely, definitely on its way in. A bit minging, but we've got a little bit of beach we can walk down. I think at the slipway here we can, we can go down the road into the town. I'm going to take a picture of the Blackpool Tower. Poster. We can do. So again, just uh, reflecting on the, the history, and obviously New Brighton was famous here. Here, this old poster here. Uh, was really famous for its tower in competition with Blackpool. You know that? I didn't know that. You didn't believe when I said that way, you didn't believe me, did you? I didn't know there was gondolas here either. I'm not too sure <laughs> where I... Alright, so so I definitely came here when that was up, so I must have been six or seven. So not in eighteen ninety eight. But I wasn't dressed like that boy there. Because the tower is like the lake and gondolas. But after the fire in 69. Nobody was dressed like that. When I came in, I wasn't dressed like that. I'll tell you the story, Bill, when I was by this beach down here. And Fort Perch down here. An electric shock in it. And there used to be a little arcade and put my finger in the button and it was lime and like that. I'll do it, Cassandra. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. What doesn't surprise me? Can you tell me you're the ones that used to deliberately grab all the electric fences to see what happened? Yeah, I mean, you must have done that on the farm. You hold it and it's like every five seconds you get a pull to you, like your arms shoot up like that. Why would you do that? Hey, tell me, did you ever put a nine volt battery on your tongue? No. Did you ever put a nine volt battery on your tongue? Because every boy in the country at one stage put a nine volt battery on them, we just call it having a drink. You go, like that. Did you ever put a bit of tin foil between the fillings on the back of your teeth? Do you know what happens then? A bit of driftwood home? Do you know what happens when you put a bit of tin foil on your teeth? You get an electric shock, that's where you and your body is. Weird. Alright, but there's a sandy beach to walk down. So we're just looking at the top. So the people who bought our last camping, the guy was, um, I think the was captain on the pilot tugboats here on the Mersey. Know that? I just remembered. No, he's uh, yeah on the pilot boats. Okay, let's go down to the down to the fort. All right, so a little confession time, and I think you do know this story. So, back in the 60s, when New Brighton was perhaps at its peak, to do a day trip here from Manchester was like a really big thing. I mean, seriously big thing. So, with my mum and dad, we would get uh, a bus into Walkingham. Get into Manchester, get a train to Liverpool, 
then we get the ferry across the Mersey to this side and then we would get I, I don't I can't actually remember it's some kind of transport to New Brighton because this was like a really big holiday place a bit like his own Blackpool with this Blackpool Tower and if that's in 1969 I must have been six five six or seven something like that very young and my mum bought me an ice cream and back in the day we didn't have much money and buying ice cream was like a real big treat and I sat on this beach here this one here where we are now had me ice cream and the ice cream fell off and went in the sand and I got me a little bucket of spade and a spade and I buried it and the following year we came back to New Brighton with me bucket and spade and I was digging and my mum said to me she said what are you digging for Neil I said my ice cream because I buried it here I came back looking for my ice cream that's probably still here you know should we get a bucket in spade and do some digging what do you think hey Molecules left, I guess. <laughs> and then we're in mid-October now so it's a bit grey today but in mid-October about a decade ago we had a really really warm sunny day and we brought the kids where we were just coming listen where these rocks are where we are now um, and the tide was in and they all had a swim so what I'm going to do here go and check out this video see this video up here put a link to it there in that card there go and cl click that link and you can see, um, see us a decade or more ago with Hannah, with the, the tide crashing up against the rocks and Hannah, it was the, where the steps are down here, screaming, not only running down going, I'll save you Hannah, I'll save you. Remember the video? No. no. Yeah, well, I scream man here. It's a deja vu, can I drop my ice cream and bury it and we'll come back in the future if it's still here. That was in Wales, that was um, Seriously windy. somewhere near Cricket, that was on Richard Island. I wonder if that's the same ice cream man from 1967. Has he gone, has he gone home yet? <laughs> it's Cornish ice cream in the Wirral. It's got quite a checkered past for in history. Over the years, it was fairly recently put up for sale. Not going to take in the last 20 years. Some cannon punches or something like that. Now, there we go. Considering sandstone so soft and everything, it's still up well, hasn't it? Oh, there's the, uh, the old building there, isn't it? Let's say big tower, see on the end there, up in the air he went, Sandra. Whoosh! Like that. Whoosh! Whoosh! Yeah, you know, even though it's grey, the sun's just sort of popped out. Right, we've gone as the uh, lighthouse, because it's quite pretty, hasn't it? Last couple of days we've been here on the Wirral. I've always had the sun behind me, we've hardly had any videos of walking into the sun, so we're all not very bright. <laughs> I'm not too sure why that is. I think the tide's on its way out. It's a bit of yeah, true. Actually walking into the sun. This is, this is highly unusual. We're having an Elvis Presley quiff. We're so, walking by the uh, by the docks, to the shopping centre, walk back round. Nothing there. Whoop. So yeah, so actually, in all fairness. I made the observation yesterday when we were out, there was not very much rubbish on the beach being washed up, which is a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so, 
on a sort of dock side. That's a zip wire, isn't it? Like a water adventure type thing, and they're obviously um, jet skis or ski jumping of some sort. That's some kind of a zip wire, that isn't it? I'm catching driftwood. So it's a nice easy walk this because it's pretty flat everywhere, it's nice and flat so you know if you're not particularly able bodied or wherever there's benches all the way down to sit on. It's pretty, isn't it? Looks for me in the rainbows, you can never see the bench is there. Quite pretty isn't it? Bit unusual. Some of you are quite young by all accounts there. Fingers rapid. The river's so wide and over here, it's fast and fast. Wild shore. So you've got the sea defences here with the wall built up. And we've got the other walls down here, which we're going to go to. And the floodgates. Last time. Uh, I actually looked at that, it was very expensive to stay. But Liverpool this weekend, I'd say, as well as what we went to, which is quite tiny, there's quite a few other um, uh, larger events on. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. You signed in your waiver. Seahorse of the Hungry Horse. Back home we've got a flying horse of the Hungry Horse, haven't we? Is there, um, is there a horse theme? I think when you are back on your channel, we're going to be vegetarian week, I think. <laughs> Work for a king, not a clown. I think that's an absolutely fantastic... Um, yeah. Absolutely get that. That's a bit of marketing genius. Right, okay, back to the car, go on head home, a couple of loads away, have you enjoyed yourself Sandra? It's been a nice mini break. Yeah, so if you like that, click the subscribe button down below, you know what to do there, and um, that'd be great. Smash the like button, and if you want a notification when I upload a video, what do you do Sandra? Hit that notification bell. Hit that notification bell. Right guys, time to go home. See you guys on the next one. Hope you enjoyed that. Fantastic. If you did do, keep smiling. See you next time.